All right, we're going to make this a segment because I don't know what to expect. Came out a day ago. It's a pretty fresh Benny Boy video reacting to a TikToker explaining gender. I think this person's kind of hot. They're pretty good looking. I like their style, but I have no idea what the fuck Libra fluid is. Sometimes I feel the necessity to uh, to point out things that are happening on uh, on TikTok, mainly because this is the stuff your kids actually watch. So I was confronted yesterday on Twitter with a bizarre oh, yes, TikTok the video urge to watch TikTok about a phenomenon called Libra gender. Now you may be confused at this point because you're a rational and sentient human being, and it is strange that every two seconds somebody is coming up with a new gender. Of course, that's not strange at all, given the basis of gender theory, which is that gender is completely mutable and also is a complete spectrum. I mean, it goes all the way from it is. heterosexual, total heterosexuality on one side. Wait, wait, all wait, the way wait. to homosexuality. Wait, sexuality, sexuality is a different. I thought we were talking about gender. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, Ben, slow down, slow down. Uh, gender is one thing. Sexual sexuality is another thing. Sexuality is who you're attracted to. Gender is what you yourself are. R slow down. Let's let's see what this is about. Gender is a social construct. People can make whatever the fuck genders they want. I don't really care. It's not relevant to me. Uh, I, I'm just a girl and I do girl things and you're just a boy and you do boy things and that's fine. But some people are other things and that that's also fine. It, it really shouldn't bother us. You know, I don't piss myself thinking about Libra genders at night, but it seems, you know, Ben kind of wets the bed thinking about these TikTok. I don't know. We're just going to watch. On the other side, anything in between. You could be a gender, right? That, that, that's that's with regard to sexual orientation. Gender or that, that sexual orientation is a spectrum according to the left. So is gender, right? There's male on one side, female on the other, and then all the in betweens. Yes. And in the dead center would be a gender, which is a person without a gender, which is weird. It's like a Ken doll. It's just smooth where where there should actually be protrusions. Apparently. No, 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 no. Gen gender isn't isn't the body type. It's it's an intrinsic personal identity. It's like it's it's basically what you feel comfortable identifying as. There are people that are very masculine, and then there are people that are very feminine, and then there are people that are just in the middle and are not very masculine or feminine, and they're very androgynous. And this would be an example of an agender person. But Okay, so now we have the phenomenon of Libra gender. Now, if you're wondering what is Libra gender? Yeah, what is Libra gender? Uh, let me play you this video in which right. a TikTok girl explains Libra gender. Let's learn. Hey, guys, let's talk gender, specifically Libra genders. Firstly, know the difference between a static or a stable gender, one that doesn't change, and a fluid gender, one that does change. Now, okay. Libra genders. Libra gender people feel mostly a gender with a slight connection to another gender. Firstly, Libra feminine, and I do want you guys to keep in mind for the rest of the video that there is another black line down there. Libra feminine okay. people feel mostly a gender and slightly feminine. Describe it as feeling a strong connection to a gender as, as well as a lesser connection to femininity. Libra masculine is the opposite, where someone feels mostly a gender and slightly masculine described as having a strong connection to being genderless as well as a lesser connection to being masculine. Lastly, we have Libra fluid. Libra fluid people feel mostly a gender with a slight connection to another gender that fluctuates throughout other genders. Stay with me here. They feel a strong connection to being a gender and another part of their gender feels fluid. One part will always feel a gender, the other part will fluctuate between masculine and feminine. Hope that could help. All right, cool. I guess I guess that makes sense. It's just people who don't have a gender, but they lean one way or the other. You know, it's a weird term. I've never heard the term Libra gender, but typically whenever I meet someone and they say, oh, I'm this gender and I've never heard of the gender before, I just ask, what does that mean to you? They explain it. This person explained what it meant. I, I understand now. And then I just move on. I, I don't care. That's that's like the normal person way to go about it. You know, Ben, he is he looks like he's wincing in pain from viewing this. I, mean, I, I think he's he's kind of into it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This person's pretty attractive. I don't know their age, but they're a pretty attractive looking person. I don't know. They look pretty cool to me. Very alternative. Hmm. Hmm. That didn't help. So, um. Just want to point out that your kids actually watch this crap, and then they start to believe that you can identify as Libra gender, which, if I get this right, means that you mostly feel connected to a gender, which is weird. I'm not sure how you'd feel connected to that, but you feel connected to having no gender, which is literally impossible because all human beings 
are uh, sexually dichotomous, right? You're either, you're, we are a sexually dimorphic species, you're either male. That's your sex. Okay, Ben, what you're describing here is sex. Yes, everybody has a sex. Most people have either a cock and balls or a coochie, and some people are intersex and born with some sort of combination between the two. Nobody's talking about that. We're talking about gender. This is a personal identity thing. This is not what our bodies are. This is a different <laughs> different discussion here. Sex is a lot more biological. Gender is more social and philosophical. Just just uh, correcting you on that one there. You, you, got, you got that one a bit wrong. <laughs> male or you're a female. There are a few people who have unfortunate conditions that make them intersex. That is not what she is talking about. She's talking about how you identify as a biological male or a biological female as a gender, which presumably means that you just stand there. Right? You don't manifest any actual activity because it could be masculine. or And then the Libra gender is not just a gender. It's a gender with a slight hint, with just a dollop of masculinity or femininity. It's like coffee with a little bit of sugar. Yeah. Um, so I have a proposal here. And it, it's out of left field. So stick with me here. Okay. And here's the proposal. The Let's proposal is that if gender is a complete spectrum, and if every individual has their own specific gender, right? Because you could be Libra gender. Mm -hmm. You could be Libra fluid. You could be, mm -hmm. okay, get, the, get this straight, or not so straight. You could be 53.3% agender. You could simultaneously also be 27.7% feminine. But at the same exact time, you could be 19% masculine. You never know. You could be all... I mean, I don't... Listen, Ben, I don't know where you're getting the numbers. I don't know how this is measured, but um, I, I will continue to hear you out. ...of these things at once, according to these folks. And you can, and, and it could be fluid, right? Those percentages could shift. Okay. But sometimes yeah. you could feel like a unicorn, and sometimes you could feel like a horse, but you really don't... Oh, okay. And then we got to the... Okay, this is basically the helicopter joke. There's a difference between identifying as more or less masculine and identifying with those traits and then identifying as an entirely different species or an object. Very big difference, not comparable. But humans can fluctuate between masculine and feminine. That's, And humans also can't be objects or humans cannot change their age, the amount of time that they have existed that cannot be changed because those are very objective. They're not socially constructed the same way masculinity and femininity is. Think of it like a political party. So in America, our political parties are, I guess, we're politically dimorphic or bimorphic. There are two political parties, Republicans and Democrats. And, you know, there's a few others. There's like the Green Party and some other third parties. And pretty much people usually fall between one or the other. They're either Democrats or they're Republicans or they're a little bit in between. And they, you know, they identify as centrists. And there's, there are different levels. And people's political ideologies can shift. You can feel more conservative one day or more liberal and progressive another day, depending on the situation, depending on, you know, the, the information that you have seen and taken in that can all change. And that's kind of how gender is because at the end of the day, these concepts are just social constructs. They are completely invented by humans and completely arbitrary what it means to be a democrat is just to be someone who identifies with the the democratic party and who finds themselves to align with the democratic party and it's really just an identity thing like you could be a registered democrat but hold a lot of conservative views or the other way around and you can be the same way with gender. You can be assigned male at birth, but be extremely feminine. It's just a combination of traits that we compile into groups and we just label those groups. 
I hope that makes sense as to like what a social construct is, what gender is, and how it's these things are similar. So Ronathan says, also kin is a whole spiritual belief not related to being trans, but some people identify with animals or concepts. Yes, there are people who feel, hey, I identify strongly with like dogs or foxes or cats or whatever. Like I identify really strongly with cats. I'm not literally a cat, but I like to say I'm a cat girl and that's just something meaningful to me, but I'm not physically a cat. You know what I mean? A leopard on all levels except physical. I am a wolf. <laughs> Need to, to, to specify on any given day. We all have to have our own labels, right? And each, each time those percentages shift, the label shifts. So I have a proposal. Instead of using these labels, which are very, very confusing, and each require their own, how about this? We call you by a name, your name, we could say, Jill. And just for purposes of clarity, so that we know who you are, because Jill, you know, names could be asexual. Just for purposes of clarity, we call you by your biological sex, which is perfectly objectively verifiable by outsiders. So really, really, Ben biological sex is perfectly objectifiable. I don't know. I feel like you haven't really seen many androgynous people that are very, they could be one way or the other. I don't know. The only way to perfectly verify someone's biological sex is to either test their chromosomes, which that's a whole process, or you pull their pants down. Ben, are you suggesting that whenever we observe people, which we observe a lot of people every day, that we should like constantly test their chromosomes or, uh, you know, take their clothes off and do checks and, and call people based off of that once we objectively know that information? Because that's the only way you can plausibly do that. So instead of saying, here is a person who is Libra gender, 2.3% feminine, and 97.7% agender, we would just say you are a biological woman named Jill. You with me? It's even more specific than what you're trying to do. I, I know. This is revolutionary stuff. I, try to wrap your mind around it, though. My yeah, okay. So Ben says we shouldn't let people choose for themselves what their identities are. Um, we should just look at people and pick their identities for them. This is this is the face of uh, someone who claims to be a libertarian and claims to value the freedom in America. Shapiro reacts to TikToker explaining gender.